So in this video, we're going to talk about finding the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles. So let's have an example. Solve for the area of the given figure. So here's the figure. And as you can see, it's not a rectangle, it's not a square, or even a triangle. So it's not a regular shape. That's why it's called irregular shape. So how do we solve these kinds of shapes? So we just slice it so that it will form into regular shapes and it's possible to solve now to solve for the area. So there are different ways to slice this, but I will just slice it in this way. So every slice will have different solution, but it still ends with the same answer. So it's up to you and how you're going to slice this irregular shape. So, the rectangle on top is having a dimension of 3 centimeters by 10 centimeters, the length and the width. Now, at the bottom, it looks like a square, but it depends on the length of this because if it's 4, then that means it's a square. If it's not, then still it's a regular shape, it's a rectangle. So, the reason why we need to, um, to, cut it into regular shapes so that it's possible for us to solve for the area. Now let us find first the missing side. So we know that this is 10 centimeters, it's given, and the opposite side must, must be also 10 centimeters. So we know that this is 6, and what's lacking to make it 10 centimeters is 4 centimeters because 6 plus 4 is 10 centimeters. So that means the, the figure at the bottom is a square. So let us now get the area. So the area on top must be 3 times 10 which is 30. And at the bottom, it's 4 times 4, that's 16. So the area of the irregular shape is 30 plus 16. It is 46 square centimeters. Now let me show you another way to solve it. So we're going to slice it in this way. And then we're going to have two rectangles the one with the 3 by 6 dimension and at the right side which is having a length of it's still missing and as well as the width so we're going to solve it first before we can have the area of this irregular figure so let us solve first for the width so we know that this is 10 centimeters and this must also be 10 centimeters because they are just opposite sides. Now, this is given 6 centimeters. we we'll straight to this. And then, what's lacking here to make it all 10 centimeters is 4 centimeters. And that is the width. Now, we're going to find now for the length. So, this side and this side must be equal. Again, they are opposite sides. Now this is given 3 centimeters, and this is also given 4 centimeters. Now let's align them. As you can see, it must be having a total of 3 plus 4, 7 centimeters, and that is the length. So now we can solve for the area of the rectangles. So the area of the first rectangle is 3 times 7, that's length times width which is 18 square centimeters. And the second rectangle, which is 4 times 7, that's length times width, is 28 square centimeters. So now the area of the whole figure, the regular figure, is 18 plus 28, which is 46 square centimeters, which is the same as the previous solution. Now let me show you another way of solving this problem. So I'm going to make imaginary lines 
that will connect these uh, two edges so that it will form a big rectangle with a length of 10. And let's shade this so that we can solve for the area of this part, which is not part of the irregular shape, which is 6 times 4, length times width is 24. So 24 square centimeters. And then we are going to solve for the, the area of this big rectangle, which is the width is missing, and we're going to solve that. So these sides are opposite sides, so that means they are just equal. And this is um, 3 centimeters, it's given. And also this, it's given 4 centimeters. So I'm going to connect that part so that you will understand that you can just connect, you can just add them. And that's the length, uh, the measure of the width. So 3 plus 4 is 7 centimeters. So the width is 7 centimeters. Now we can solve for the area of the big rectangle. So length times width or 10 times 7 is 70. So 70 square centimeters. Now in this 70, the, the part that is not included is still uh, part of 70. So we're going to remove that. So area is 70 minus the part that is not included, the 24. So 70 minus 24 is 46 square centimeters. So that is the area of the, the irregular shape. So the point here is there are different ways to solve an irregular shape. So it will be up to you and how you discover the problem and how you slice the problem. There are still a lot of ways of solving this. So you have to explore and you have to practice and analyze the problem. So let me show you another figure. So here's the figure and we're going to solve for the area of this irregular shape. So we're going to cut this and I cut that that way. So there are other ways to cut this. So I just chose this one because it forms three rectangles. And the rectangle on top has length and width, so we can solve for the area. So 8 times 2 is 16 square meters. And the top and the bottom rectangles are just the same, so we can just put area which is 16 square meters as well. Now we need to solve for the area at the middle. So we had the width 6 meters, but we're missing with this, the length. So to know that, we are going to use the information given that this is 2 meters, another 2 meters, and on top is 8 meters. So if we connect that a straight line so we can add them 2 plus 8 plus 2. So that will be 12 meters. And that is the length. So now we can get the area. Length times width or 12 times 6 is 72 square meters. Now we can have the area of the whole figure. So 16 plus 16 plus 72. So the sum is 104 square meters. So there are still other ways of solving this problem. So it will be up to you to explore those other solutions. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.